Hi everyone, thanks for listening to my presentations. Today I'll be talking about carbapenemase producing organisms. Some have taken antibiotics and it's not working. Well, sit back and let's go. Carbapenemase producing organisms. This is a global health concern. It is worse with enterobatriase. Carbapenemases are resistance to multiple antibiotic classes. So it's not just one type of antibiotics that is in trouble here. A lot of antibiotics are becoming weaker with the presence or emergency of carbapenemases. Primary mechanism of carbapenem resistance in gram-negative bacteria is through acquired carbapenemases the enzymes that hydrolyze the antibiotics. Carbapenemases are beta lactamases. They have a great hydrolytic capabilities on cephalosporins, penicillins, carbapenems, molybactin, and they are mostly on plasmids. The epidemiology is such that it is worldwide known or worldwide problem. But let me start by saying the gram negative bacteria here acquires carbapenemase or produce cephalosporinases in combination with mutations that lead to decreased permeability of the bacteria as a wall or prevent the entry of carbapenems. So the bacteria is not being fully attacked either by bacteriostatic or bacteriocida. The effect is no longer known on the bacteria because there's no permeability of the bacterial wall and there's no entry of the components. It's a worldwide problem like I earlier said and we have Clefcella pneumonia and carbapenemase that is KPC found in Heterobatrase and Pseudomonas originosa. Another entity is New Delhi Metallobita lactamase from the name New Delhi that is clear that that will be coming from India. So the New Delhi metallo beta lactamase producers are found in natural bacteria and pseudomonas originosa. Oza 48 uh, are found like Oza 48 like producers in natural bacteria, which means Ozalinase 48. CPOs means gabapenemase producing organisms. The bacteria, for example, Ceratia, Klebsiella, Actinobacter, Escherichia coli, and Pseudomonas originosa. They are found in gastrointestinal tract, particularly in the intestine. When you see CRP, that means carbapenem resistant heterobacteria. And when you see CPE, that means carbapenemase producing enterobacteria. CPO means gabapenemase producing organisms. When the carbapenemase producing organisms are found outside the gastrointestinal tract, they could be causing urinary tract infection, causing sepsis, wound infection, and in the lung, they could cause pneumonia. The risk factors here are essentially that of healthcare facilities exposure related problems. In other words, is the kind of nosocomia infection found within the hospitals is commonly found in surgical clinics, surgical wards, uh, post surgery, and dialysis, or a common among patients on hospital admission and post procedures and you know, whatever is going to go into gastrointestinal tract and come out and the other person that is not having the organism is you know, acquiring it that be through the healthcare workers you know, touching the affected person and touching the healthy person with you know, equipment, devices or, and so on and so forth. So, so those are the possible risk factors here. Yeah. That's KPC and NDM. 
KPC means Club Shell and Morning Cover Panamis. This has been reported in Club Shell and Morning. Also reported in other enterobacteriaceae. Also in gram negative organisms like Pseudomonas originosa. KPC is found in Europe and United States of America. For example, it's found in Italy, Greece, and US. Don't worry, because the implication of this means that when someone is diagnosed with Klebsiella pneumonia, there's a possibility of the antibiotics being used not to be effective. But we have a way out. Towards the end of this presentation, we'll get there. There's the other one called NDN, that is New Delhi Metallo Beta Lactamase, from the name New Delhi, that is from India. It's commonly identified in Enterobatrese and Pseudomonas originosa. Others in this group are Metalloblastic Beta Lactamase and Verona Integrum encoded Metalloblastic Lactamase. Imipenemase metalloblastic lactamase are mainly in China, Japan, and Australia, found in Actinobacteria bumani. Vim producers are in Italy, Greece, and Russia. Other 48 producing enterobatrese are endemic in Turkey, but they are also found in France, Belgium, and North Africa. They are found in Klebsiella pneumonia and E. coli, that is Azaricha coli. Enhancements of their spread. How do they spread so fastly? Gabapenemis genes are on mobile genetic elements. The epidemic plasmid of OZA48 conjugates at high risk within enterobatrese. Hence, the enhancement of their spread. Prevention is the key here because prevention is always cheaper than cure or any form of intervention. So hand washing for healthcare personnel, particularly after handling a patient before touching the other one. And we can use alcohol-based sanitizer Cleaning of every place, you know, every device, every top, every equipment used. And it is going to be safer to have the identified people with these organisms isolated. Or we keep the identified patient with these organisms in the same room. Okay, but we should not be transferring stuff or equipment you know, meant for the affected people with these organisms to other healthy people. I don't mean the people affected are sick people, no. What I'm trying to say is that those who have not acquired these organisms should not have the same staff treating the people with the acquired organisms or the equipment taken to them. It's gonna you know, create the possibility of them acquiring the organism. We can help ourselves by reducing the rate at which antibiotic resistance will spread in the community by only administering antibiotics only when it is absolutely required. And when we find any case or cases of CPO, we should report that to the public health authority in our jurisdiction. Laboratory detection, that is laboratory investigation of carbapenemase producing organisms. Well, we have to admit that it is very challenging. So carbapenemase detection tests are in two groups. One, phenotypic group of chemical dependent, that is basically nucleic acid-based genetic determinants associated with carbapenemases. Second is modify arch test. And that will include pulse field gel electrophoresis 
or repetitive element polymerase chain reaction or whole genome sequencing platforms. That will depend on your hospital protocol. There are novel treatment strategies when it comes to carbapenemase producing organisms. The first thing to admit is that this is difficult to treat. In Klebsiella pneumonia carbapenemase and metallobeta lactamase, when anyone is diagnosed with either of those in Klebsiella pneumonia, then you can no circumvent the whole situation no, using one of these. Is either you have carbapenem in addition to tergocycline and aminoglycoside. But watch out for phototoxicity and nephrotoxicity as side effects. You may choose cholestine with carbapenem and tergocycline or Cycling, that is a synthetic allogenated tetracycline. You may choose carbapenem with tagacycline or keftraroline with avibactam. You can also choose carbapenem with aminoglycoside or carbapenem with cholestine. Astronam, avibactam or kefidrocor, kefthacidim Avibactam is also possible. When it comes to monitoring, there should be good surveillance system on ground with preventive measures instituted. Infection prevention and control has helped in curtailing the spread. International Health Regulation mandates compulsory report. Please educate your team. And with that, I come to the end of this presentation. Uh, thanks for spending the time to educate yourself here about gabapenemase producing organisms. It's somehow born and rise, but it could be life saving. Thanks for listening. Kindly remember to subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to get more health related uh, PowerPoint productions. Thank you.